In this video, we present DiffTune, an auto-tuning method using auto-differentiation. To control an automatic system, we have many methods for controller design. And to deliver the design performance eventually, we need controller tuning. But tuning is often done by hand using trial and error, which is not efficient at all. In this work, we formulate auto-tuning as an optimization problem where we look for the parameter theta to minimize the loss function of the tuning objective, subject to both the dynamics and the chosen controller. We require the dynamics and the controller to be differentiable. Many existing controllers are shown to be differentiable in the recent years, like PID, optimal control, or model predictive control. Our solution method is called DIFF2, which is a gradient-based method. It has the nice features of stability, compatibility with real data from physical systems, and efficiency. DiffTune iteratively collects the data of a system over a horizon. The data are then used to evaluate the gradient of the loss function with respect to the controller parameters. Then we update the parameters using projected gradient descent and apply them back into the system to repeat this procedure. The animation on the right shows an example of tuning a controller for quadrotor tracking control. It can be observed that the actual closed-loop trajectory is approaching the desired trajectory through iterations. Correspondingly, the tracking error on the right shows the monotone reduction. To obtain the target gradient, we use sensitivity propagation. We first observe that the target gradient can be decomposed by the chain rule, where it breaks down to the sensitivities of the state and control to parameter theta. Then we use the sensitivity propagation to infer about the highlighted sensitivities. The coefficients are the Jacobians of the dynamics and the controller, which can be obtained using auto-differentiation offline. They are online evaluated at the collected data from a physical system. We test DiffTune in experiments, where we tune a quadrotor controller to track an IGEL circular trajectory. DiffTune is able to reduce the tracking error by 3.5 times in only 10 trials. The animation on the right shows how the 12 parameters were adjusted in the 10 trials. One can see the nonlinear relationship between the parameters and the tracking error by observing the direction change in the parameters evolution through the trials. This nonlinear phenomenon requires many trials by a human to perceive in order to perform manual tuning. It significantly reduces the efficiency when tuning is done by hand. Here we show four representative trials by DIV2, in which the performance improvement is clear towards the last trial. We also test the generalization capability of the DiffTune parameters on variants of the figure 8 trajectory. The DiffTune parameters perform well in this test because they are trained for agile maneuvers, which also exist in the testing figure 8 trajectories. In practice, a real physical system may suffer from uncertainties that are not included in the model. We propose to use L1 adaptive augmentation to cancel out the uncertainties in order to preserve the validity of the computed gradients. We test DiffTune with L1 adaptive augmentation in tuning and conducted an ablation study. The ablation study shows that both DiffTune and L1 adaptive augmentation can improve the performance with individual contributions. The best performance is achieved when they are applied jointly. We open sourced our DiffTune toolset. We have included the sensitivity propagation and auto generation of the Jacobians. Along with two examples, we provide one template to make it easy to fill in and auto tune custom controllers. Thank you for watching.